once again, I'm going to try seeing you along until to make sure that I am connected and I'm live. My internet stream has not been particularly uh, reliable, so I apologize. This is my second time trying this. I don't know whether it's working. I'm watching things spin around and around and around and around, so I'm still going to wait until I see my face again. I don't know who made it here, do da do da, but I hope you made it here, do da do da day. Alright, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to assume this is working. Uh, if you are here on the live, please comment live so I know you're here and I can connect with you. And if you're on the replay, um, put down hashtag replay because it'll be interesting to see who sees this afterwards. Oh wait, is it working now? <gasps> Hang on, this might be working. I don't know because I can't see my face. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. I'm just babbling away here, waiting for this to catch us up because I can't really tell. It said I'm live. It's clicking away. I can't see myself. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to shut one of my things down just for a second. Hi, I am very glad that you guys made it. I've tried a this is my second time trying to do this live, and it's taking some time because of technical, technical difficulties, but you know, that's what happens in life, right? So, we are here uh, to talk about grief and the major milestones that you go through, and why I wanted to talk about this, because as you know, every Every time there's a big holiday or an event or some kind of tradition that you would have done with your loved one beforehand, when they come up again, you are trepidous, obviously, because you can feel them coming and you don't want to be without your friend, your best friend, I should say, and your, your, your fight mate, your soulmate. Now they're not here and trying to go remembering all those times you had with them before. It hits you like a pound of bricks when you have to come back to those milestones again and because you're aware of this, the trepidation before you even come up to one of those milestones can be overwhelming to the point where it can actually be more overwhelming than the actual event itself, which sounds kind of weird. So the day, let's say, I'm not sure if you've been where you are in your grief journey, if you have gone through a year already you've probably you've gone through every single major milestone that you can and the biggest one being obviously or maybe not obviously but usually it's, it's the death of the story so the, the anniversary of the first year of their death they you might have found that you've been kind of numb through them especially for the first year and it's really fine, it feels completely impossible to get to that next stage because you're just breathing in the moment. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because this is something that everybody will go through and it'll go continually throughout your life because just as you loved, you're going to grieve. And you are now, you're, fortunately now you're married to a dead person um, and they're part of your family and this is just what's going to go on. But I want to talk about this because I was doing some research about it, and one I found some really in interesting acronyms that I found could help going forward. Uh, but before I go into that, because I'm not sure who has any time, I want to break it down really simply. And so that in fact that over the first year, you're going to be hitting all these major milestones throughout the year, and again through the years afterwards, you're going to be hitting those milestones. In the first year, especially, what you're going to do is, we, as you go through these, these milestones and you go through the year, every moment that's going to feel like you're almost going to half there. So what we're going to do, you're going to plant your flag. So think of this in the sense that you're going, you're a mountaineer, and you are going uphill, and you're half every single time you get to a milestone or a campsite, you're marking your flag. You're like, I'm here. I, I survived. I got to this point. Let's keep going. And you're going to continually to do this as you're going up that mountain throughout that year. And every single time you get to an event, you get to a milestone, you get to something that's really important for you and your family and your love, you're going to take it on and you're going to get the flag and you're going to plant it again. And you're going to plant that flag and go, okay, I'm here. And you're going to keep doing this event after event after milestone after milestone until 
you've come finally to that precipice, where you think it's a precipice, that precipice, that top of the mountain, and you're going to make a take your flag, and you're going to plant it and say, here, I was here, I did this. Now, this is all metaphorical to speak, but let's continue with this thought pattern, okay? You have gone through the year, and you've planted your flag, you've been here, and said, okay, I'm here, I've done this, good on me, let's just keep going. And again, for the first year, you are going to be in fog, so you're just going to be basically survive. You're trying to get to that milestone, you're planting your flag, you're not probably not even thinking about it, you're just going to go, okay, I'm here, and you're going to get going. But this is where it becomes better. Anderson. As you go to the next year, you get to that first milestone again, the one you went to the first time last year. And as you get there, you see something familiar. You see a flag there. You've been here before. You've been here before. You got through. You can do it again. Plant your flag. Keep going. You're going to keep doing this. You're going to finish off that year planting your flags because I've been here until eventually you're going to do this year after year after year because grief isn't something that's instantaneous. This is something that's going to be lasting you for a while, boys and girls. And I hope that that doesn't really disturb you too much, but it's true. This is not a quick fix. But every year, as you go through these years and you go through these milestones and every year you're planting yet another flag. Say, yeah, I'm here. Until eventually, you're going to have so many flags on those milestones that it becomes a new normal. This becomes, you created your new, your new together, your, two, your, your new today, your new tomorrow, because you've gone through this, this is now the new normal, and what you had before, still there, but what's real now is that you have been here and you have proof of it right there. And again, this is all metaphorical, right? This is just... Um, this is an analogy for how I represent you going through your life. How you go through that life, and this is what I wanted to bring back to what I was thinking about before when I found about this. I found some really interesting resources about, uh, as they, they're using these acronyms, let me get them up here. It's, there's the healing, uh, it's a healing, so you heal milestones. Um, and they have, a, for healing, they have a, a line that represents the first letter of this word of healing. And I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna read it out loud because I haven't memorized it because it's brand new, but I thought it was really interesting as a guide for what you're gonna be going through through your own personal grief milestones going forward. So the H stands for honor your loved one and yourself. Discover your own interests and values. The E stands for ease emotional pain. Open yourself to emotions, both painful and pleasant ones. Trust that you can deal with emotional pain. It doesn't control you. Okay, next is A. Accept grief and let it find a place in your life. L is learn to live with the reminders of your loss. I is integrate memories of your loved one. Let them enrich your life and let help, you, help you learn and grow. M is narrate stories of the death of, for, of yourself and share them with others. You have to get these out there. And G the last one for healing is gather others around you connect with your community and let people in and let them support you and i find this is interesting because everything they talk about here about honoring your loved one about easy emotional pain you open yourself up to emotions accept your grief and let it become part of your life learn to live with the reminders of your loss integrate memories of your loved one narrate stories going to death gather other words around you gather community all this all this now this is, is, is directly relates to, or comes back to my program, and the same same type of thing, but just different wording and different ways of doing it, uh, but this very same thing about, and this about having to feel the pain, go through it, find yourself, find your love, find your next life, and the difference here is that even though we're talking about healing, this is how you heal, what my program does is take this idea, which is everything they're talking about, but it's deeper than that, and then how to push forward into your new life. Now this healing milestone, this is not mine. This is a white paper. It's called the Grief White Paper Series. Uh, it's from the Center for Complicated Grief, which if you're interested in, let me go back here. It's uh, complicatedgrief.columbia.edu slash for the public. Uh, for the public has hyphens between you for the public. Slash resources uh, hyphen two. 
put this here. I'll actually put it in the, the comments so you can get it. But I found it interesting because it's directly relates to the same kind of thing that I, again, I talked to you about in my program, uh, which I'd like to talk to you more about if you want to see it there. I just posted it right there. So the other thing I want to bring up too is that even though you are going to be reliving or reminding yourself of these flags each time you go through these series of, of steps, right, with these milestones every time, what I highly recommend you do, and I brought this up earlier in a video that I put on the uh, on, our, on our, our page, and it's the fact that you can take these memories and you take these milestones and you can use them and you can recreate them into becoming new memories. So you're taking old traditions, you're taking old memories, and you're going to reshape them into how it fits your life right now. The I brought up the idea of uh, how my husband had this idol of a weasel and that he used to tap on his head whenever he was starting to go with something new. And now that he's gone, I keep have that weasel now. And then again, every single time I try something new, tap, tap the weasel. That's a very small example. And I'm sure you have big glorious events and big glorious uh, festivals or ways of dealing with things that you want to create in your memory and create a new tradition of. But it's how you can take that milestone and you integrate it into your life now. So all of this, so there's the, the planting the milestones, those healing steps, and recreating your life using the memories of your loved ones supporting you. This is everything. This is the part of my program. Um, again, I'm launching it at the end of this month. So it's the night of the day. Uh, and at the end of the month, I'm going to be launching it. Uh, it's going to be, it's only a few seats. Uh, it's, I can't take this, it's a, it's a group setting. Uh, I want to be, keep it small uh, because that way it's easier for people to get along. If you prefer not to have a group and you'd rather do one-on-one, -on -one, I offer that as well. Uh, and it's, it's help others. I would like to help it, help you as well. If you resonate with this and you're interested in, in grief coaching, you're interested to know more about what I do and I want to know more and you want me to know more about your story, give me a text. The, the text is up on, it's, it's pinned to the main page. You can DM me directly or you can comment here either way. I hope this helped. Uh, it's not the longest video I've ever done for you. Uh, it's also because I'm not sure whether this is actually taken. I can't see myself on the screen, so I don't know if it works. And I can't see if anybody's here. So if you are, thank you. Put down live. If you're not live and you've seen us in the replay, put down the replay. Love to hear what you think. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.